building materials. Please see that the contractor receives them. Oh, and will you email the client on the Higgins project to let them know that the model is ready for reviewing? Thank you. You built my favorite dream castle. Well, the exterior turned out just like I imagined, but it's the interior that would benefit from your expertise. Well, you can send me the drawings if you'd like. I can take a look. But I am not coming to Free Orland. Why not? Uh, my job, for one. Plus, I want to finalize my sustainable housing pitch. All right, your passion project. Ava. I am sure the firm would approve of you taking this project on. It would bring them good recognition, and, and more importantly, we do the same for you. You have grand visions, and you have the talent to bring them to life. And Free Orleans Royal Family has their hands in projects all over the world. Who knows where this might take your career? Ava, Hi. it's so good to see you. So good to oh, see I you, Uncle think Carl. You know, I mean, so, what do you think of the Winter Castle? This place is incredible. <laughs> Your photo, it doesn't even do it justice. It feels like I'm in the North Pole. Not far off. Mm. Let me show you around. Mm. There's work to be done. So tell me more about this tradition. I tried to look it up online, but I couldn't find anything about it. Well... Every year since 1857, a winter castle has been built for Free Orleans Royal Family right before Christmas. Different location every year. No one knows where, but usually near one of their royal manors. Yeah, it's meant to be a getaway for the royal family, an escape, a place where they can set aside the pressures of their daily lives. I love that. Oh, and this day culminates with the Royal Christmas Ball intimate affair, mostly family, and whoever the prince's girlfriend is at the time. Oh, he's that kind of prince, huh? <laughs> well, if you believe the tabloids, but who am I to say? In our interactions, he's been very professional, if a little tightly wound, but he certainly knows what he wants. He's requested a few specs for the interior. I could really use your help with it. Well, I'm happy to help you. Oh, Eva, I uh, feel like I might be in over my head on this one. Uncle Carl, come on. You got this, and I got you. Thank you, Eva. Mm -hmm. Your vote of confidence means a lot. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. And here we are, back at the atrium. Who's this? That's Prince Henry. You don't recognize him? Why would I recognize him? One of Society Magazine's 50 most eligible bachelors. Oh, come on, you know I don't follow that stuff. Well, it appears that you recognize what all the fuss is about. Yeah, looks don't make a man, Uncle Carl. Unfortunately, I had to learn that the hard way. Excuse me. Mrs. Newton, this is my niece I was telling you about. Ava. This is Brigitta. She's the director of operations for the royal family. Hi, I'm Ava. Ava Jen. Sin. It's. Hi. Ava is a very well known architect. She has a creativity and a talent that is unmatched in our field. It will take far more than that to please the royal family. Oh, Brigitta. Mrs. Newton. <clears throat> 
Mrs. Newton. I can assure you that I'm simply here just to um, help with the finishing touches of my Uncle Carl's spectacular creation. And I'm sure the royal family will be very pleased. Hmm. Let's hope so. One more thing. Gawking at Prince Henry's portrait is highly frowned upon. I wasn't gawking. Oh, your mouth was agape. <clears throat> the highest level of decorum is expected of all of those in the presence of the royal family. Of course. Good day. <sighs> wow, she's a breath of frosty arctic air, isn't she? Ah, <sighs> yes, but just please don't ruffle her feathers. I'll do my best. Thank you, love. Now, let's get you settled into your room. Good night's sleep. Tomorrow's a big day. Hmm. <sighs> Nasty breakup. What do they know about it? Apparently, everything. Yeah, they just make this stuff up. You know that. Be that as it may, I don't believe it would require great effort on your part to imagine how the king and queen feel about this. They're the ones who forced me into the relationship with Astrid to begin with. Forced is a rather strong word. Lady Astrid is an educated and worldly woman of the highest caliber. As to say nothing of her <clears throat> attractiveness. Although the criteria for an ideal spouse, Deputy Montreal. I cannot say, Your Highness. As you are aware, despite being well into my 40s, marriage has, as of yet, looted me. Well, don't give up, my friend. Your soulmates out there somewhere. Thank you, Your Highness. But if I may return to the pressing issues at hand, damage control and... And? And now that you and Astrid are no longer together, who you intend to ask to the Christmas ball? Your home away from home. It's like a dream. <laughs> I remembered how much you liked teddy bears when you were a kid. It's a polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> up for our time at the Winter Castle. Well, the annual dress to the nation is coming along. I have some talking points, at least, but still need some work, that's for sure. Well, I'll get it done. <clears throat> <clears throat> and is there something else in need of shaping up? I think what your mother is delicately getting at is, do you have a date for the Winter Ball or not? At this moment, I do not. Henry, maybe I don't want a date. Maybe it's best I attend alone. I would not advise it. Nor would I, Your Highness. Why? It opens you up to speculation. Speculation? Of what? That I'm single? That maybe you're unable of finding a woman worthy of one day becoming queen. <laughs> well, so far that's been true. Thank you, Fontria. Your Majesties. There'll be no press at the Winter Castle, so who's going to speculate? Henry, you know how these things get out. Well, let's not worry too much. If you don't find a date, I can help. I know of a lovely young lady who's just moved back. Mother, come on, please. So the two of you are high school sweethearts. No one set you up. You just was meant to be. Mother, you fell in love with Dad before you even knew he was future king. And Dad... You said the moment you met Mother, there was an instant connection. Mm. Every word of what you just said is absolutely true. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish everyone would just relax and give me a little space, because maybe one day I'll be lucky enough to find what you two have. Give it time. We'll take our coats, please.
Okay, everyone. The moment of truth is fast approaching. The royal family is en route. Ava, have you ever pulled it off? <laughs> yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. Pretty well. It turned out beautifully. And just in time, the royal family's gonna be here any minute. Oh, good. I want to show you this one thing over here. Okay. Um, the grading it. It might need a little bit of work. They've outdone themselves. Hi, I'm Eva. Hi, I'm Maria. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, do you work for the royal family? I do. I assist with the travel. Well, I'm glad you must know Brigitta. She's my boss. <laughs> She's a lovely lady. <laughs> Mr. Jensen, Prince Henry. <clears throat> uh, what you built here is absolutely marvelous. I couldn't imagine a more perfect winter castle. I am overjoyed that you like it, Your Highness, and, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Yes, I, I believe I will. Prince Henry. Ah, Miss Newton. Mm. How do you do? And who's that with them there? Oh, uh, that's Sigrid, Brigitte's daughter. We think she's secretly plotting to get her together with Prince Henry. Really? Mm hmm I mean, we all thought he'd make Astrid a princess, but... And which one is Astrid? Prince Henry's girlfriend. Uh, or ex. He just broke it off with her, and now he's single again. Do you remember my daughter, Sigrid? Yes, of course. Sigrid. Last time I saw you, we were... Children, if I remember correctly. <laughs> yes, we were ten. <laughs> the same year my mother started working for the royal family. You may recall, she attended boarding school with the Queen. Yes, I'm aware. Sigrid was sent to Tarsus at Liguano. Uh, after her father died, and I was full-time in service. Well, you've grown into a beautiful woman since then. Thank you. We may be watching history unfold. He looks rather enamored. Sigrid just completed her degree at the Sorbonne and has decided to move back to Fjordland full time. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shall we all go inside? Yes. yes. Wonderful. Come, darling. Shall we? Thank you. <laughs> this is wonderful. You are pleased. Well, it might be the coolest room I've ever stayed in. Excuse the pun. Oh, uh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> we will leave you be then, Your Highness. Unless, uh, there's any other way I could be of service. I... Oh. I, um... No, I, 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 I think I'm all set. Yeah. Sorry, thank you. Very well. Well, I, I hope to see you again shortly, Your Highness. Yes. Excuse me? Oh. oh, I'm so sorry I didn't mean to stop you. Sorry, I just, uh, I get a little jumpy when people sneak up from behind me. 
Well, I really am sorry. It's okay. You're the niece of Carl Jensen, an architect, yourself, I was told. You are inquiring about me? Well, I know everyone else here, and uh, I'll stay at the Winter Castle as an intimate affair. Oh, uh, <laughs> of course. But you, I haven't met yet. Eva. Delighted. Your uncle has done some wonderful work for us over the years. That's why we commissioned him to design this year's Winter Castle. Well, thank you, and he's incredibly grateful. We both are. I think it's wonderful that you can both work in such a unique project together. You know, it's strange. It's almost like fate has brought us here to do this. Fate? Mm-hmm. How so? Well, when I was a little kid, we used to build snow castles together in the backyard over Christmas. Really? <laughs> in fact, they were a little bit taller than you, but as a little kid, they seemed like they were gigantic. And I remember just sitting inside of them, and I would just dream about being a princess off away in a winter wonderland. Hmm. It's one of my favorite holiday memories. Sorry, I, <clears throat> I'm oversharing. No, not at all. Um, your uncle said that uh, this ice slide this is your design. Yes. Yes, it is. You want to give it a try? Oh, no. No, no. I thought you were the one that requested it. Uh, no, no. For, for the children, of course. Well, you're never too old to go down a slide. Come on. Uh, It'll be fun. Uh, Just follow me up these stairs. Wow. Watch your head, incredible. and you'll sit right directly behind me. Sit. <laughs> Miss Jensen, but it has been an absolute pleasure. Mm. Your Highness. See you soon. I'll see you. Ava, sweetheart, so glad I found you. We need to talk. What's the matter? Yeah, uh, there's been some rumblings among the staff that the uh, the prince may have a thing for you. What type of a thing? An interest. Apparently he took an immediate liking to you. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I know you're a humble young lady, but anyone with any sense could see why that might be true. My personal policy is to not mingle with the royals, unless it's absolutely necessary. And I'm not telling you how to live your life. You're an adult, you can make your own decisions. I guess I'm just saying to be careful. A slight misstep could have disastrous consequences for both of us. Uncle Carl, I can assure you that my loyalty is to you and my career, I promise. <laughs> You've grown into such a wise and talented woman, as I knew you would. I gotta run. Love you. Love you. Okay. <laughs> a moment, Miss Jensen. Please. 
Brigitte, I didn't see you over there. Otherwise, I would have stopped and happily exchanged um, pleasantries. You weren't planning on retiring? Maybe. Considering the lucrative contract you are being paid for your creative services, I hope you understand that you are on call, as you Americans say. Of course. Yes. Uh, what did you have in mind? I have a job that requires your creativity and talents. Please do tell. Housing for the royal pooches? Hmm. Bjorn, Gram, Knud, Tolk, and Ulf. Go on, write it down. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> you said that there's uh, three, five? Five of them, yes. And they each need their own separate dwelling. Is that a problem? No, no, not at all. It's just none of this was in the plans. It was a last-minute addition. The king and queen weren't planning on bringing the royal pooches, but I said you must. They will be in their element. And they said, Brigitta, you are right, as it is your habit to be. The pooches arrive in three days from now. You can use whatever you need in the warehouse. As for workers to help you build, well, I must leave that to you. I don't think that there's going to be much time to do this. Not much time at all. I expect this will consume you from this moment forward. Good day, Miss Jensen, and good luck. Nude? How do you even spell that? Prince Henry was captivated by the ravishing Sigrid Newton, only recently returned to Friorland after graduating from Sabon as the daughter of Brigitte Newton, a longtime member of the royal staff and daughter of the late Duke Thorkin Newton. She's accustomed to the royal way of life. With Astrid cast out, it seems Sigrid is next up. And public opinion is that she is very well suited to be the future princess. I have a brief chat with the woman, and the press is ready to crown her the next queen. <laughs> it's maddening. Uh, the press did have a keen observation. And what was that? That Sigrid is well groomed for this sort of life. Well, I'd rather someone who's right for me, not just this life. All I'm saying is it wouldn't hurt to give Sigrid a chance. If you have common interests, if your personalities mesh, you might ask her to the Christmas ball. Oh. This is lovely. It is. You know, when I was little, I spent countless hours thinking of what sort of princess or queen I'd be. Did you? Of course. All girls did. I think I'd want to be like Queen Christina of Sweden. She was quite intellectual. Did you know she had Rene Descartes in her court? Mm. Cognito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. <laughs> oui, je pense donc je suis. Oh. <laughs> he was quite incredible. I mean, first he invented analytical geometry, and then skepticism, which is now an essential part of scientific theory. Yes. He was amazing. Yes. But Queen Christina lived so extravagantly, she nearly bankrupted the country. Well, you can't fault her for that. All right, well, she was the most learned woman of the 17th century. Uh, yes, she was in good company with Marie Antoinette. Uh, now you're touching on something that I despise about monarchies. What is that? Well, they have a history of beheading their wives. Did you know that King Henry VIII of England beheaded two of his wives? Yes, well, that is a rather morbid bit of history. I suppose it's a good thing monarchies frown upon such things these days. In all seriousness, what would happen to a princess or queen if she didn't give birth to a boy? Is she vanished in your country? <laughs> no, the royal family would celebrate the baby girl. Mm. Princess soon to rule as queen, just like 
Queen Elizabeth in England. Kings aren't as important as the title implies. What makes you ask those questions? Well, I have 17 cousins. All but one are female. With six nieces, no nephews. It seems it's in my family's lot to have girls. You know what? I think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Perhaps, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so there's still a work in progress, but I think they'll meet royal family's expectations. <laughs> they'll exceed them. In the field of architecture, I am convinced you can do just about anything and do it exceptionally well. <laughs> I also wanted to design this gateway that frames the kennel area. Mm -hmm. A design that really, you know, embodies the local environment. Oh, you should go take a look in the chapel. It, it might give you some ideas. Okay. Okay. Hey, I would stay and help if I didn't have to tend to every detail of the Winter Castle. No, we're a team. That's why I'm here. So go. Focus on what you need to. Okay, good. Oh. Deputy Von Trier, I gotta run. Go. I got this. All right. Hello. No, I just stepped away for a couple of minutes. I'll be right there. Miss Jensen. Hi. Sorry, I didn't I didn't mean to interrupt you. No. Please uh join me if you have a moment. This uh this chapel was built for my cousin. He's getting married here after the uh holidays. His fiance is such a wonderful woman. They're a great couple. You know, the kind of couples who seem to complement each other so perfectly. Yeah, I have some friends like that. Hmm. Have you ever been uh, in a relationship yourself like that? <laughs> no. Have you? Uh, no. Not yet. Interesting design, isn't it? Yeah, it's so unique. It was my cousin's vision, but your uncle helped execute it perfectly. Mm. It's a representative of the landscape. It's very important to a culture. Constantly in flux and change. The snow, glaciers, and the storms that blow so hard you can hardly see your hand when you hold it in front of you. It's all part of what makes us who we are. And who's that? Fjordlanders. Yeah. Oh, well, yes. We're strong and resilient people. People that help each other when times are tough. But we also truly appreciate nature and will fight to protect it. Isn't it interesting how the landscape that we grow up around really influences us? Where I grew up really inspired my passion for architecture, especially for sustainable housing. Where were you raised? Minnesota. Minnesota. Uh, strong. Nordic roots. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I grew up around snow and the cold, so. Oh, you'll feel right at home here then. Your Highness? Oh, yes. There are a few matters of varying urgency that require your attention. Always. Thank you. It's nice to see you again, Miss Jensen. Ava. You can call me Ava. Okay. Ava. I'll see you soon. Oh, do try to keep up, dear. I know you much prefer the great indoors, but this is the reason why we're here, for the invigoration of it all. Yes, darling. You remember that I do love the idea of cross-country skiing. A bit more than the activity itself. But you feel it's been vastly over romanticized. <laughs> now that we're all here, well, just the three of us, I do feel like it's absolutely wonderful. Oh. I don't think it was just the three of us. 
Apparently her location was leaked. It must be the guy who took the photo of me talking with Sigrid. Well, you know how to handle this. Just ignore him. I've been doing that my whole life, Mother. It takes its toll. Well, come on, cheer up. This is a great opportunity for outdoor sport, and it is my favorite time of the year. Mine too, Mother. And we have a lovely dinner planned for tonight at the Royal Manor. A traditional meal, great conversation, a glass of wine, just what you need. And we've invited Sigrid as our guest. Just so the two of you can be reacquainted. No, we've already been reacquainted. Oh, have you? We went for a walk together, arranged by Montreal and orchestrated by you and Brigitte, I'm sure. <laughs> well, and how did it go? Well, she wondered if it'd be problematic if she only birthed females. <laughs> You can't fault a girl for thinking ahead. Come on, Mother. Oh, she was probably just nervous. Anyway, enough of this. There'll be plenty of time to talk about all sorts of things at dinner. You've been awfully stressed lately, more so than normal. Yeah, I just have a lot on my mind. Son, as a hereditary royal, you above all people know our obligations. We must keep up our traditions. We're a small but vital country. What do we have if we don't have tradition? And we do understand that it can be overwhelming at times. Mm, yes, but you must be able to control it and the impact it has on you. Oh, easier said than done. Yes. Well, so is cross-country skiing. But practice makes perfect. <laughs> Listen, the rest of the day is yours. Go relax. Or better yet, go have some fun. Yes. Maybe I will. Come on. Actually, I would love a brandy after this. Oh, Mr. Jensen. Prince Henry. Um, I was wondering if you've seen Ava around. Yes. Why? Are you looking for her? Yes, I am. In fact, uh, which is why I'm asking. Of course. Yes. Um, she's tending to a project in the workshop. Great. Uh, thank you. Okay, well, she's very busy, though. She's got a lot of work to do. Ava? Oh. You really like to sneak up on people, don't you? It's uh, not intentional. I promise. <clears throat> um, how can I help you? I have a proposal. A proposal? Look, um, the Winter Castle is supposed to be a, a getaway. But I can hardly turn around without bumping into someone who needs something from me. So, I was wondering if you might want to... Uh, Take a break and uh, get away for a few hours. To do what? To escape all of this and just have some fun. I mean, you do make a good point. Uh, but if Brigitte found out I left and went somewhere with you, when I'm on this deadline, she would be... <laughs> Off with her head. Don't worry about Brigitte. <laughs> but I have to make these pooch palaces and the next day... I can't just leave. That's what you're working on. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, I would love to get uh, your feedback. Do you mind taking a look? No, no, no. Great. These are spectacular. Really? Yeah. The most impressive dog houses I have ever seen. I love the gated archway. Uh, but uh, I have a bit of news for you. Um, the, um, the royal pooches, they are not coming to the Winter Castle. What? But Brigitte said that they were. I mean, I've, I've done all this work. Yes, um, well, she suggested to my mother, who, uh, of course, agreed, but, um, I put an end to it. I love the dogs. I know them better than anyone. They're much happier back home. But these are so spectacular. I think they should be built for a primary residence. 
but they're not pressing. So just like that, magic. <laughs> I cleared your schedule. Oh, your highness. Oh, please. Call me Henry. It seems so informal, though. I prefer informal. Henry. Ava. Well, would you be so kind as to accompany me in an adventure? Sure. Great. See you soon. See you. advice on something sure prince henry asked me if i wanted to go on an adventure with him he asked you on a date no it's not a date mm. it sounds like a date so you think it's a bad idea how many girls in their lifetime get to say they went on a date with a prince i'm not trying to complicate things i am here to do my job help my uncle building my resume i don't need to get sidetracked i'm sorry i i think i'm missing something I thought we were discussing going on a date with Prince Henry. I have a very specific life plan, and it does not involve getting mixed up with princes. <laughs> no offense, but you're sounding a little type A right now. Type A? Mm-hmm. But I know there's also a playful side to you. I heard about you and the prince on the ice slide. Trust me, people do not interact with him that way. I think that's why he wants to spend more time with you. And I have no idea why you wouldn't want to spend more time with him. It's not like I don't think he's attractive. I do. He mm -hmm. just he just got out of a relationship and well, Sigrid has made it very clear that she is ready and willing to fill that void as of immediately. Look, I know the tabloids give him a hard time over his other relationships and all that, but I've been around him quite a bit over the years. Prince Henry is a gentleman with a good heart. He really cares for people. It's not just an act. It's real. I don't know. Are you overthinking this? Maybe. I mean, he did only say it was going to be a few hours, so... You asked me for my advice, so I'm going to give it to you. Go on this date. I think you'd regret it one day if you didn't. Maybe. funny too. <laughs> well, I'm not known for my humor, but you seem to bring it out of me. I'm sorry, um, what is that for? Oh, in case we run into a polar bear. It's just to uh, scare them off. You know, one warning shot just sends them running. It's to keep us and the polar bears safe. I know how much you love them. Come on. You'll be safe with me, I promise. I trust you. Good. <sighs> Beautiful. Mm. Since your grandfather, the Duke, died and we lost all peerages, I have strived to regain our family's nobility. Oh, you must remember, Sigrid, you are no commoner. You are as worthy of becoming princess as anyone. So, let's make the most of this dinner tonight. You have done your part, Mother. And now, I shall do mine. Mm. All right. Wonderful. Wow, your country really is a perfect winter wonderland. How do you think so? I love it out here this time of year. I can see why. Oh, what's this? Some local architecture. That's a fishing chalet. I love the design. Functional. I feel like we're in our own private snow globe. Hope you're not getting too cold. No. Oh, look at this over here. Oh, they're so cute. Wow. 
Yeah. What are they? Reindeer. Must have heard there was a special guest in town. Wow. This setting is incredible. Oh, so you're not disappointed? What? How could I be disappointed? Well, I thought maybe you were expecting a royal accommodation, you know? It's like out of a fairy tale. Ah, well, it's gonna get dark soon, and um, I have a few things to set up, so come on. What? What things? It's possible he got the time mixed up. Possible. Well, I have a feeling it's something else. Oh, dear. Oh, heaven knows what's keeping him. Go to Henry's room and find out what's detaining him. Oh, Sigrid, uh, tell me, did you have an opportunity to explore the grounds? Um, yes, I did, actually, with the prince. Um, it's quite lovely, lovely property you have. Oh, yes. Thank you. It's wonderful out there. You know, I myself actually went on a bit of an exploratory trip. Prince Henry? <clears throat> prince Henry? Okay, call me if you hear anything. Mrs. Newton. Secret was wondering if, after dinner, we could get her some additional time with the prince. I was thinking a nightcap at our ice bar. Just the two of them. I believe if we give them a little more time, things will run their natural course. I don't think that will be possible. Why not? At this hour, it is unlikely the prince will turn up. Well, where is he? We don't know. What do you mean, you don't know? The prince, Mrs. Newton, is missing. Oh. Ava? Ava, are you in there? It's Brigitte. Ava? Where are you? Perhaps more wine. <clears throat> oh, yes, please. <laughs> uh, Prince Henry, he's, uh, gone. Gone? Gone where? I've searched all over. He's nowhere to be found. I believe he has left the premises, possibly with the American girl, Ava, as she also seems to be unaccounted for. <clears throat> well, our son is vulnerable. I'm afraid he could easily be manipulated. I don't know, Ava, but American girls can be quite cunning when they see something they want. Yes, I've heard this about these American women. <clears throat> what would you like me to do? I suggest you find a little bit more out about this Ava character. Try and ascertain what her motives might be. Mm. Yes, Your Majesties. I do apologize, but it seems my son's duties, of which he has many, mm -hmm. are going to detain him permanently from dinner. But I suggest that we eat. Yes. Tell the chef we're ready, please. Interesting. Is that for the firm you work for in America? Nope. It's personal. But these are my mock-ups for a sustainable housing community. My country is becoming less affordable for lower-income families, so... It's a project I'm hoping to launch soon. It's more than just your country. But turning crisis into creation... I'd like to learn more about that topic. Over dinner. <clears throat> May I? You may. Wow. 
unbelievable. And flowers, too. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Please, take a seat. Mm. Look at this incredible spread. Mm. May I pour you a glass of wine? Yes, you may. Okay. You don't know how to open a bottle of wine. Oh, how dare you suggest something that's absolutely true. No, no, I don't. Thank you were you. close. <clears throat> yeah? You, you, you sort of have, yes, you're supposed to take off the wrapper first. Okay. And you twist it about halfway. Oh, there we are. Thank you for coming to the rescue. <laughs> I must admit, I am lacking many basic life skills. <laughs> um, skoll, which means cheers in Fjordlandic, Swedish and Icelandic. Mm. Skoll. Mm. So, tell me a little more about yourself. What do you want to know? Ah, oh, well, let's start with something easy, like, uh, who is Ava Jensen? Well, I guess a woman who loves, loves architecture and, I guess, really wants to make a difference in the world. In what way? Do something good for this planet, help people. And who knows, maybe that's by creating this green, sustainable commuting housing project. Ultimately, yes, I would like to find a partner and start a family. But maybe one day. Those are wonderful desires to have. Oh. What is that? You have to come outside to see this. <laughs> come on. What is that? incredible. One of Earth's most magnificent displays. Our Viking ancestors believed these lights were earthly manifestations of the gods. What would happen if I made a wish under the Northern Lights? I don't know. Maybe you should try and find out. Okay. You'll have to tell me if it comes true. Shh. Only if you're lucky. Cool. <laughs> you needed to see me. Please email me Ava Jensen's file right away. Happily. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, your queen and I would like to sincerely thank you for joining us for dinner. And apologies once more for our son's absent-mindedness. Surely his responsibilities overwhelmed him. Indeed. Yes. Thank you for your understanding. Of course. If you'll please excuse me. Yes. Excuse me. How did you enjoy dinner, Miss Newton? Have a good evening, Maria. Thank you for getting away with me. It's just what I needed. Thank you for inviting me. I had a really nice time. I'd like to see you again. But uh, tomorrow I'm going to be in hiding for most of the day. Is everything okay? Yes, this year I'm giving the annual address to the nation. I uh, haven't finished my speech yet, and it's being broadcast in two days across the country. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of pressure. Yeah, it is. But it is an opportunity for us to show our gratitude for the previous year and uh, to set the tone for the years to come. Well, let me know if you need my help. I'm just going to uh, 
find a quiet place so I can uh, finish it. I just don't want people to think I'm reading it, you know? I want them to know it coming from the heart. I just have to rehearse quite a bit. Anyway, so I don't mean to uh, burn you with all this stuff here. I'm just saying I'm happy to lend you an ear. <laughs> Are you sure? After I check with my uncle and I make sure he doesn't need anything, and as long as Brigitta doesn't give me a hundred more tasks. Well, you do have a royal immunity from Brigitta. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, as long as your uncle has everything under control, I'd love it if you were with me. I just received word the prince has returned. This is embarrassing. I'm not quite sure how to handle this. Please inform His Highness that I am indisposed. Certainly. I shall handle it. Your Highness. Ah, Montreal. Where, may I ask, have you been? You sound like my parents when I was a teenager. Well, it's about to get worse. We've been searching all over God's frozen actor for you. You can't just up and leave without telling anyone where you're going. Okay, I apologize. And you missed the dinner. The king and queen were beside themselves with worry. Was it worry or disappointment? It was both. And poor Sigrid, sitting all alone. She expected you there. She was disappointed. Where did he say he was? I am sorry I missed dinner. It wasn't my intention to hurt anyone. Please explain to Sigrid that something very important came up. When I do, shall I include an invitation to the Christmas ball? <laughs> what did you say? I don't know, darling. Quiet. Oh, Montreal. I'm beginning to see why marriage has eluded you. Just lighten up a little bit. Hmm? We do some good. I'm off to the Winter Castle. Is it the American girl? I don't know. She's so unrefined, Mother. I know. I have spent all that time on my posture and my etiquette lesson. What was that? What was what? Oh, they see us. Let's go. Uh, Prince, wait. You, you never told me where you were. Good night, Deputy Von Trier. The request didn't come from Brigitte, did it? No, why? I think the reason she gave you the doghouse assignment in the first place was to keep you occupied and away from the prince. Well, that sure backfired. How do you mean? Mm. It doesn't matter. Uh, I just wanted to make sure it's okay with you that you don't need me before I commit. Well, if the royal family requested your services and it's within reason, then by all means commit. You know, I think for the first time since we started the Winter Castle, I feel like everything's in order. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. So what did they request? It wasn't as much of a request as I, I offered to help. Oh, to do what and for whom? Uh, Prince Henry with his speech. Oh. Uh. Mm-hmm. He said he wanted to go somewhere private, just the two of us. Just two of you? Doesn't that seem a little intimate? Uncle Carl, I'm a professional. Okay, I believe you. It's what other people will believe that concerns me. I think the prince is just comfortable around me because I'm not in his royal circle. I know, and I know you're a professional. I am wary of you getting too close. I would hate to see you get hurt. Uncle Carl, you know what I've been through. If I can make it through that, then trust me. 
I can make it through anything. I have a general idea of the message I want to convey. I, I just can't seem to get it across. Why don't you tell me about these sketches I keep seeing you make? <laughs> no, no, this is not why we're here. Oh, but I need a break, okay? So, please, show me. I guess the theme of it is, um, the unpredictability of life. I mean, sometimes you think you have everything you need, and then all of a sudden your life just gets flipped, turned upside down. These sketches are shelters or dwellings that can be built quickly and inexpensively after natural disasters. To keep the cost down, we would use discarded materials such as uh, recycled corking for the floor, uh, pressing newspapers into wood, and shipping containers that can be turned into dwellings. Things like that. Interesting. That's, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's not only designed to put a roof over someone's head, but they also provide comfort. The architect, Shiguru Ban, he has been building structures like this in places that have been hit by hurricanes and earthquakes. I'm familiar with some of his work. Yeah, he's brilliant. I mean, I've basically just taken his idea and expanded it. This is extraordinary, Ava. <laughs> Thank you. And it, it just gave me an idea. Really? Yes, yes, yes. This is good. <sighs> yeah, no, you've inspired a bit of a breakthrough. <laughs> And one of the finest public education systems in the world. Due to various um, global, various global circumstances. Oh. What's wrong? I just, I've never been comfortable giving speeches. I just get really nervous, and the uh, back of my neck and my shoulders cramp up. Well, you shouldn't be so stressed because you're actually a very good speaker. I appreciate that. You know, I think I may have seen a hot tub earlier. Oh, yes. Us Friolanders take a hot tub in quite seriously. Are you suggesting we go for a soak? Yeah, I think it'll be good for you to take a hot tub. It'll relax you, be yeah. good for your muscles. I think you're right. Yeah. Let's go. Sounds great. Yeah, you think so? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. This water feels amazing. This was a good call. I think so. You know, if you're here any longer, I'd take you up north to the Thermal Lagoons. Who knows? Maybe I'll come back. I'm really starting to take a liking to your country. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, then it's settled, then. You must return. <laughs> I have so much more I want to show you. Mind you, our country is about the same size of the state of Vermont, so <laughs> it wouldn't take long to see it all. A tour of Friuland by the prince himself. Who would pass that up? I would not be wise to do so. No, no. it wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you probably feel good, not as stiff. I feel fantastic. Yeah. Thank you for that <laughs> suggestion. Oh, um, please just ignore him, okay? Oh, I thought this place was private. Yeah, it well, was. Someone must just tipped him off, I guess. Prince Henry, is this your new girlfriend? Please, just. Respect our privacy. We're just friends. Can you just give me her name for the caption? Look, you're not permitted to be here, so I suggest you leave. If I see you again, I'll have you escorted off the premises. I'm sorry. I'm only trying to support my family. <sighs> Unbelievable. I'm really, really sorry. What do you think they're going to do with those photos? I sell them to the highest bidder, I assume, and then come up with some story to go along with the photos. 
I know it wasn't smart. I was spending so much time together. You're right. I am sorry. But I did really enjoy our time together. I did too. I'm gonna go spend some time with my uncle and, you know, just lay low for a bit. Yes, I think that's a good idea. But your speech, it's, um, it's in great shape. You should be proud of yourself. Well, thanks to you, yes. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh. Listen, um, tomorrow's gonna be uh, rather crazy. I got obligations before and after the address. But I was wondering if um, you have any plans on Christmas Eve. I'm supposed to go into town and have brunch with my uncle, but after that, nope. I'm free. No plans. Good. Could you possibly keep the evening open? Yes. For you, I suppose I could. Excellent. Because I have um, a little something in mind. as you've come upon something of interest. I'm afraid so. Don't leave a lady in suspense. What is it? Oh. Dear me. I don't think you understand what you're turning down. This is tabloid gold. They will pay a fortune for it. Simply submit it along with your photograph. Man, I appreciate what you're trying to do for me. But I only sell photographs. I'm not trying to ruin anybody's life. Besides, I like the prints. And when I see them together with that woman, they seem genuinely happy. I am not trying to ruin anyone's life either. I am trying to protect the prints. Fine, I will give it to someone else then. And you'll be sorry you passed when you see it on the front page tomorrow. They pay a lot more for scoops than they do for pictures. The foundation has become the strongest regional collaboration in the world. This unity. Prince Henry, if I may have a moment of your time. Can it wait? I'm sorry, but something has come to light. It needs to be brought to your attention. What is it? It's about Ava. No one listening? Ava was engaged to be married. How long ago? It's been almost three years, but the man she was engaged to, he is in prison. For what? Security fraud, perjury, money laundering. He stole millions from investors. Well, I'm sure Ava had nothing to do with it. Otherwise, she would have been charged. We are still looking into that, but innocent or not, Ava was closely associated with a man who turned out to be a criminal. We need to hear her side of the story. Do my parents know? Not yet. Okay, don't tell them anything until we know more. And don't let any of this leak to the press. <sighs> it already has, hasn't it? I can't say for certain. But if it has and they run the story, your reputation will be tarnished. But I have a plan to quickly return you to the good graces of the Royal Council and the people of Free Orland. My reputation isn't what's important here. All I care about is Ava. And I want to tell you something. These games you all play to manipulate me and make me do things that others think is best, they might have just ruined my chance with the first woman I've had real feelings for in a long time. Prince Henry, they're ready for you. <sighs> Good luck. You got this. <clears throat> we are going live in five, four, three, two, one. Shooting. Greetings, fellow Fiolanders, our Nordic neighbors and friends tuning in from all over the world. I want to thank you for joining us for our annual Christmas address. 
I would like to open by expressing our gratitude to all Fjordlanders who, year after year, work tirelessly to make our small but proud nation a major player on the global stage. I would also like to express our gratitude for the continued cooperation and goodwill between all Nordic nations. This provides a foundation of what has become one of the strongest regional collaborations in all the world. The unity we maintain is the cornerstone of our economic success. Now, while we enjoy much good fortune this Christmas season, let us not forget people are suffering. So let us use this occasion to open our hearts to those in need and take an honest look at what we can do better and how we can help more. Why are we here? if not to live in the service of others. Fjordland has been a safe haven of neutrality in which larger nations have bought it for peace. What better time than Christmas is there to remind us all for the need for peace? So, as we move through this coming year, it is my hope that our thoughts and actions can be led by mercy and compassion. Because if enough of us can do that, we have a chance of changing the world for the better. Merry Christmas to all. And God bless. Wonderful. Thank you. Good job, son. Thanks, sir. Well done. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Prince Henry, the King of Sweden is on the phone and has requested a word with you. He was very moved by your speech. I need to see Ava right now. Uh, there's no time for that. Your Highness, the King of Sweden, please, we do not want to keep him waiting. Following the call, the press junket will begin. Afterwards, there'll be a debriefing with the Royal Council. Prince Henry here. Yeah? Well, the Prince really delivered tonight. What a speech. Yeah, I'm proud of him. It's been a real gift spending this holiday together. Like old times. Yeah. Get some sleep. You too. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you, sir. And Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you, Prince Henry. Wonderful address tonight. Congratulations. Just the person we were looking for. Have you seen Ava? But she's not here. What? She's gone. Gone? When I spoke with her earlier. the way this tabloids twist the truth. Yeah, it's not my fault. I should have kept my distance. I just hope it doesn't reflect poorly on you. <laughs> Ava, I would not have been able to pull this off without you. But 
Now I just wish I'd never gotten you involved. I just thought it would be a wonderful experience for you. It was. I got to spend time with you, help you build your spectacular creation. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have any regrets. You've always been a ray of sunshine. Ever since you were a little girl, in your castle in the backyard, I, I, I want you to know how much it has always meant to me to be a part of your life. Uncle Carl, you've always been an inspiration to me. Okay, <clears throat> I have to go. I don't want to miss my flight. I don't want to be another international incident. <laughs> love you, sweetheart. I love you too. Thank you for the polar bear. Of course. Did you get a copy of the court ruling? I did. And? Ah, oh, well, it turns out that it exonerates Ava of any wrongdoing. She was completely deceived by her fiancé and was as shocked as anyone to learn what he was up to. I knew she was innocent. Your Highness, I just want to say I'm so sorry that this got... Your Highness? Still half hour away, and Ava won't return my calls. Then hold the plane. Why can't you? I guess I just have to detain her then. I know it sounds harsh, but do it politely, can't you? So it was you who had me escorted here and is keeping me captive. You're not being kept captive. <laughs> it sure feels like I am. You know that article they ran? It made it seem like I came here to swindle your family. I know. That's what the tabloids do. They sensationalize, sometimes even flat out lie. Make people look like frauds. I was with my fiance for two years. He's the one who devastated those people's lives. All I've done is try and just move on from the pain that he's caused. It's like no matter how hard I try, it's the past that's always haunting me. Yeah, but I admire you more, knowing what you've been through. No one has ever made me feel the way that you have. It's true. Things just feel better and brighter with you around. I don't want you to go. Tomorrow's Christmas. And I'd be honored if you accompany me to the Christmas ball. I guess your date. No. No. No, it's been made clear I'm not welcome here. No, that is not true. Yeah, it is. I have to go. Merry Christmas. Ava. Ava.
Vous laissez. I got confirmation that you landed safely. It's true. I landed safely in Free Orland. Sorry, I just I left out a little bit of information for you. I'm confused. Well, it only took me until I was 30,000 feet in the air to realize that I made a mistake. Luckily, the pilots were kind enough to turn back around. Why didn't you tell me you came back? Surprise. <laughs> Deputy Von Trier was notified that Ava had returned, and because he was riddled with guilt over the tabloid story, he jumped at the chance to reunite the two of you in the most meaningful way. Montria, get over here. You arranged this? I did, Your Highness. And now that the two of you are together, I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. I hope you can forgive me, though I know I do not deserve it. And Miss Jensen, if it takes until my dying day, I shall make it up to you. How'd you get the dress? Brigitte. Brigitte. Your Highness, when I learned the truth about Ava, and I saw how upset you were when she left, I knew I had to help reunite you. I apologize. I was wrong. What she's trying to say is she was wrong. Exactly. We both were. Yes. <laughs> well, we'll still need you talk about this, but I can't tell you how thrilled I am about this wonderful surprise. Thank you all. will have to say about us now. Oh, yes. Well, heaven only knows, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I saw the photo that they ran of us, and we look kind of cute together. We do, don't we? Hmm? Actually, you just gave me an idea. Come on. Excuse me. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you for coming tonight. And I want you to take a picture of us. Excuse me? If you don't mind, Miss Jensen and I would like an official Christmas ball photograph. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, let me just... Hold those smiles. Hold that pose. One more. Just one more. We got it. Thank you. I hope you can still make it home to your family for Christmas. Thank you, Your Highness. I'm gonna call my wife and tell her I'll be home for Christmas dinner. Thank you, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Oh, wow, we look at that. Oh, I think that's so sweet. They're really good people deep down. They just needed a little love in their life. Hmm. Yes, maybe you're right. <laughs> you know, after my address, I spoke to my parents and the Royal Council, and they were in agreement that we need to expand our humanitarian relief efforts, including an international sustainable green community housing project called Polar Green. Henry, that's amazing. The thing is, um, we need someone to head it up. You're serious? Very. That would require me relocating here. Yes, 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 it would. I would like nothing more. And I mean that with all my heart. Do you remember when we were under the Northern Lights and I promised you that I would tell you my wish if it came true? 